In an unassuming suburb, an act of shocking violence. A burning car driven straight at the home of the town's mayor in the early hours. He wasn't there, but his wife and young children were, and they were forced to flee. His wife suffered a broken leg. The house was ransacked, their car destroyed. The mayor, Vincent Jambrun, was today visited by the prime minister, Elizabeth Bourne. She said she was shocked by what had happened. The interior minister, Gerard Darmanin, who's led the response to the violence, was another visitor. Mr. Jambrun emerged this afternoon, clearly exhausted and traumatized by his experience. He walked round his town, accepting the good wishes of locals. He told them his wife wouldn't be walking for three months. He visited an indoor market that had been vandalized during the past few days, persevering with his job, even though he's become an unwilling focus. Well, Vincent Jean Brun does look fearful and scared. Now, lots of people over the past few days have been victims of looting and rioting, but what happened to him and his family was different. It was a targeted, premeditated attack. It was personal. The woman standing by him during this visit, one of the heavyweights of the mayor's Republican Party. The world is watching France at the moment and doesn't understand what is happening. What is, what is your message to the watching world about your nation? I am confident that violence will decrease in the following days. Uh, all the troops, the forces are on the field and uh, working on uh, building a new security in the region. The prosecutor has already visited the scene of the attack. He started an investigation into attempted murder. This is a comfortable commuter town. The neighbours we met, shocked, angry and suddenly anxious. Josie told us people are using the death of Niall as an excuse to do this, but it won't bring him back. I think the family should say something, she says, to ask people to stop doing this. France has been shaken profoundly by violence ever since the death of 17-year-old Niall Merzouk in Nanterre. His grandmother has now spoken, appealing for calm. The people who are pillaging, stop, stop. They're using Niall as a pretext. No, they must stop. Destroying the shops, the schools, the buses. The mothers take the buses, we take the buses. Around the town hall in La Ile Rose, there is now a ring of barricades and razor wire. This place, like so many in France, is desperately nervous. Adam Parsons, Sky News, La Ile Rose.